Well, first of all, I just want to make it absolutely clear that uh, uh, Liz Truss has, has made it clear that she needs, we need to make sure that we don't add to the burden of the cost of living by having a, an economy go into a, a recession, which would be a deep one. So we need to make sure the burden of taxation is lower. That's our priority. The second point she's made, though, very clearly about this is that, most importantly, she will do whatever is necessary, and the government now needs to work out what the options are before uh, they end up, uh, whoever wins, coming into government. In terms of what the government's doing this morning, it's quite important, I think, for them to understand what the scope of their capability is here. The most important thing is to understand who needs the money most and to ensure that we have the mechanisms ready, systems like universal credit, to target those most in need. We've already got a 15 billion payment on the back of a previous 7 billion payment going to people. This 15 billion payment actually stretches right up the income, which means that I think had we targeted a little bit better, had the Treasury been a bit better at this, we could have got more money to those most in need in this particular case. And the money is still going out, so lots of people won't receive their money until October. So we need to balance all of that against the need that we have and the new forecasts that are taking place. The peak for this is going to be around about December, January. So getting this sorted early will be a decision for, the, for Liz Truss if she makes it, but it'll be on the basis of what the government's done. And they've been working on this for a few weeks, I understand. I mean, all of that's very well and good, uh, Mr. Duncan Smith, but uh, I think you just said there that um, you, you mentioned October and people are, are hurting now. Do you, think, do you think that's appropriate enough? Do you think, you know, if they can just hold on, uh, they'll get the, the, the right sort of relief? I know you think it's very, very important that you target the right people at the right time. Yeah, yeah the key thing is to make sure with the resources that we may need to have, First of all, finding out where those resources are coming from, general taxation, or is it coming via companies, that's a matter for the government to figure out what the options are. But the second thing, most importantly, is we understand this time who the most at-risk groups are to make sure, therefore, our effort is targeted straight towards them to get them through this period, uh, as and when we have to make that decision. And Liz has already said that when the moment comes, when that advice arrives, and looking at that, she will make those decisions as and what as required. The key thing is twofold though. One, we need to help people through the cost of living crisis, those that need it, and that's through support for them to get through, and she's made it clear for that. But the other bit, we do need to see the burden of taxation lowered, because at the moment the predictions, if nothing changes, is we're going to end up in recession. We have to do everything we can to avoid recession, because that will double down on the problems that people have, particularly lower income groups that therefore will find themselves losing jobs, losing livelihoods. And that's really, really important. So we need to have two things going on at the same time. OK, I just really want to pick up on the point that you make. And, and Liz Truss you know, hinted at this in our GB News People's Forum last night. And that is that she will do, as you say, whatever she needs to do to help those most at need. What does that mean? Are we talking about yeah. handouts? Because thus far, she's described that as Gordon Brown economics, which stokes inflation. So what does she mean by that? Well, what she was talking about when she said and referred to handouts is the handouts were really part of the whole debate about whether we should be giving money out to people immediately. And the question is, if you try and make a decision about that on literally a, a limited amount of knowledge about where that is, then that becomes a scattergun approach. And that is a bad handout. What you want to do is to make sure, and she said this, any support we give must be properly targeted and measured against those who need it most so that those people can get the support that they need rather than just scattering it across a whole income range right the way up <clears throat> to people like you and me who are going to receive more money uh, later on uh, in October when you could argue that we're not the ones in need, it's those in need who are facing difficulties with their bills. So targeted support is what she's talking about, properly measured and also funded are the key elements rather than just scattering money out.